It's that time of the year where we give thanks with planks. That's right, it's Planksgiving 2023 here at the Benny Bar Pilates Studio. And today, we are working on the springboard. Today we're gonna to be working with our longer leg springs uh, with a rollback bar attached, and we're gonna place them all the way at the top of our springboard at a level 11. Now we are coming underneath that rollback bar, facing away from the springboard with our feet in a Pilates V. Pressing out into a plank shape here. Make sure that you don't sway that back. Keep the booty tucked under. Keep that nice, strong, neutral spine. Plank position right here. And we're just gonna hold in this shape. You should feel a big stretch through the back of the legs. You should feel your core working as well as your shoulders and your arms in order to hold this. Planking in this position off the springboard can be so nice because it's so gentle for your wrists and you don't have your body weight pre pressing down onto your hands on the mat, but you're still working so hard to maintain this plank. Now bend that bar in towards the chest, press out, and then lift up overhead, come back to plank. Bend towards the chest, press back out, lift up overhead. As you bend in, you may feel your body lift naturally and then press back down as you press out. And however far you lift your head, your bar overhead, it's really gonna depend on the mobility of your shoulders and how you can hold that in space with your core strength. So we wanna make sure that we're taking these switches back and forth in a way that we can stabilize. Starting in plank, bending into the chest, pressing out, lifting overhead, and back to plank. Right here, lift that bar up overhead and hold. So we're holding that plank shape with the arms overhead. Make sure that you are still holding that nice plank and you may feel yourself shaking here. This is normal. Now we're gonna lift the body upright and we're gonna come out into drop out planks. So we're gonna lower those arms as we come out into plank, then lift the arms overhead and allow the body to lift. So rather than holding that plank shape, we're allowing it to lift up and then we're kind of doing a trust fall forward. If at any time you feel like you are going to fall out of place, step a foot forward to catch yourself or bend at the waist and send the hips back. This will save you from plummeting face first to the mat. So make sure that you're doing this at a level that you control. Now hold that plank shape and we're gonna bring the bar into the chest and press back out. This can be a great way to work those push-up muscles without placing the body weight on the hands on the mat and keep you upright. 
and you're gonna feel your core working like crazy in the same way that you would doing a push-up. Now release that bar and bring it back down towards the springboard. Right here, let's just, if you're feeling that towards your legs or your ankles from stabilizing there, let's just give our feet a couple little kicks, shake out the wrists, and get ready to move on to the next exercise. It is time to adjust our springs. So now we're gonna move to our shorter arm springs if you have different level springs. And we're going to lift them up to a level six with your hand straps attached. We're going to come into a plank on the mat. And with our left hand, we're gonna grab that left spring right in front of us. And then step out into a plank, or you can be at a lower lever plank with the knees down for these exercises. We're gonna hold that plank shape while we take the left arm and sweep back towards the body and then sweep forward towards the springboard. Last one, release that left arm and switch sides. We're going straight into it, unless you need to pause and have a little break before you do the other side, then just pause the video. Release that spring, let's have a little stretch. We're gonna press back into down dog and really reach into it here. Good. Come forward into plank, drop the knees, and press back into child's pose or rest pose. Tuck the toes. We're going to reach back out into plank, and we're just going to cycle through. Press back down dog. Back out to plank. Drop the knees. Push back child's pose. Breathe here for just a moment. Tuck the toes, come forward into plank. Press back down dog. Back out to plank. Bend the knees down and press back into child's pose. Again, tuck the toes, come to plank. Press up down dog, send those hips back. Back to plank. Drop the knees and child's pose. Breathe here for a moment. Tuck the toes, come back to plank. Down dog. Plank. Drop knees. Child's pose. Come forward, plank, tuck those toes. Drop the knees. And we're gonna work side plank on the forearm here. So right forearm comes down to the mat, left hand is gripping onto that handle with the spring, and we're making sure that that top leg is coming in front. Lift up into that plank, and we're gonna pull the spring down towards the body and lift it back up. Keep hip stacked over hip and shoulder stacked over shoulder. Working on the forearm changes up our muscles just a little bit and gives your wrists a break in case they're feeling it from the last plank that we did on the hands. Lower the hips down. Recover for a moment, release that spring, and we're flipping over onto the other side. Make sure that that leg on top is coming forward and that that elbow is directly underneath the shoulder. Grab the spring in the right hand and lift the hips up and your weight is coming down to your left shoulder. Do check in with yourself physically and make sure that, that elbow is directly underneath the shoulder and not extending farther out. 
hold that nice tight side plank. Make sure that, that body doesn't move, only the arm that is pulling the spring. Press down and release. All done on that side, go ahead and lower down and release that spring. Flipping over towards the stomach, we're gonna take a little stretch, come down onto the forearms and press back, taking the chin down towards the mat and just stretch here. Gaze is forward towards the springboard rather than looking down towards the mat. And hips are still lifted high. Now we're gonna release back into that child's pose, bringing the hips down, taking the forehead down towards the mat and just pressing back and releasing into that. Now turn the palms facing up and then lower back down into child's pose. So all we've done is rotate our fingers or our thumbs out to the outside. Palms face up towards the sky. Good, slowly lift up, sliding those hands across the mat. Now we're gonna turn away from the springboard and just work on the mat. We're gonna practice shifting the hands into side plank. So step out into plank, right hand comes to the center, left hand reaches up into side plank. Rotate and bring the left hand back down, right hand comes back underneath the right shoulder, left hand comes into center and right hand lifts up. Come back to the mat, recenter the hands. Now we're gonna pull one knee in and then the other. So we're back to kneeling, knees underneath the hips. Step one leg out, then the other. Shift the right hand in, open the left hand to the sky, side plank. Left hand comes down, right hand steps back out. Walk one knee in and then the other. Continue on here, stepping the legs out, shifting the hands and lifting into that side plank, coming back down, bringing the knees in and shifting to the other side. Take it to your own pace, keep breathing and working through it. Think about that strong and stable body. Now press back into rest pose when you've finished. Now, Back up towards the springboard, grab a hold of the springs. We're facing away from the board and we're gonna come to kneeling and press our heels into the base of that board. Grab a hold of the springs and reach out as you shift your body out in plank. Remember not to sway your back here. We're just going to reach straight out into that plank shape and then bend the elbows out wide as you bring the springs back in towards the board. So we're falling out into plank as we press straight out and then bending the elbows back towards the board. Strong core here, holding yourself in place as we reach out and then draw back in. Again, that body is shifting out into plank and then coming back to upright. Now let's have a stretch. We're gonna walk the knees out, bring the hands back behind, palms are facing forward, and fold down the head towards the mat. Breathe deeply. Palms are currently facing up towards the sky. We're gonna rotate the wrists so that they face down towards the mat, and then back up to the ceiling. Just rotate back and forth for a moment. Keep your body relaxed while those arms are pulling back. 
gentle rotation. Good, lift the chest here and just pull those arms back, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest open to the sky and take your gaze upward as well. Thank you for joining me this Thanksgiving for Planksgiving, giving plenty of planks on the springboard. I hope that you've loved these variations. Feel free to sink into a child's pose here and rest. If you loved working with me on the springboard today, remember that you can join me for online springboard classes in my studio on Patreon. All that information is in the write-up below. And of course, you can enjoy all my springboard content right here on YouTube. Make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.